Now what we just conducted was a one sample t-test. There are other kinds of t-tests worth discussing. One of them are paired t-tests. Paired t-tests are used when two groups are not independent. This results from uh, different kinds of conditions. For example, any time you measure something before and then something happens and you measure those same things again, that would be a good example of using a paired t-test because the two groups, those two measurements, are not independent. That is to say, if you measure a child at age four for their height and then you measure them again at age five for their height, how tall they were at age four is going to influence how tall they are at age five. And so with the paired t-test, all that we're doing is we're doing a something similar to a one sample test of differences, but instead we're just taking into account that the two groups, the two sets of observations are not independent. The goal of the paired t-test is to find the difference between the responses within each pair. Then uh, basically do the same kinds of procedures we did with a one sample test to examine the differences. So as an example here, we might have uh, something happen. We measured things before something happened and then after, then we have a signal there. Now we have the difference. And all we're doing is doing a statistical test on the difference between those two observations. So ask yourself, which examples are independent or dependent? A forester wants to compare two methods of site preparation for growing trees. 10 forests of technique A, and 10 forests of technique B are treated. And then the forest regeneration is measured in two years. The second part, a survey is designed to examine hunter attitudes toward new hunting policies. 20 hunters take the survey of their knowledge on new hunting policies, and then they listen to a presentation on those new hunting policies, and then they take a similar survey on their knowledge. So which ones are independent and dependent? Well, number one would be a good example of independent. Forests of technique A and forests of technique B are treated, and they're not influencing each other. Example two would be a good example of dependent data. That is to say, we're measuring the same hunters from time one at then and then again at time two. And so we could possibly think about a paired t-test to examine uh, number two whereas maybe we might compare number one using a one sample t-test. The procedures for doing a paired t-test are very similar for a one sample t-test, except we're going to let d bar equal x bar one minus x bar two, basically the difference between those two values. And now we're going to make an inference on the paired differences. And so our test statistic is very similar. That is to say, we just have the mean difference minus the population level mean difference that we're interested in and divided by the standard error. All formulas for the one sample t-test apply. We can go through the same procedures like we did with the loon data to do the paired t-test. Now, when you do this in R, there's a t.test function and then we can say paired equals true to indicate that it's a paired t-test. By default, R will say paired equals false, and so it will run a simple one sample t-test. So this is how we might use paired t-tests with some data that we might encounter.